Hello. I have a GM vehicle in the uh, mid to late 90s. And uh, it's, it's been doing some like weird things here lately. It, uh, uh, when you like driving it through town, it sounds, sounds like it, it needs a real bad tune-up. And uh, you get on the highway and it just don't uh, seem like it picks up speed like it should. And uh, I removed a fuel filter on it today to check it. I just want to make sure there's no uh, problem with it. Now, when I took it off, I was a little bit offended of uh, what I found inside it. This is uh, what the filter looks like. It's real common. It fits most uh, most light trucks and uh, full size cars. It even fits a uh, uh, like Camaro and Corvette. Um, I picked up one at the Napa store today, just one of their uh, expensive ones. In fact, this is the box that comes in. You can get them right anywhere. I just I prefer to deal with Napa because I get better quality than some of the other stores, discount stores, I should say. But let me let me show you that the fuel I, I took out of this filter. Keep in mind that this is settled for several hours. You can still see it's kind of a dark, uh, grungy color. And uh, when I was blowing through that filter with my, my lips, I could see sand coming out into the jar, and, and it was like. It looked like the bottom of a, a coffee pot, the old percolator style, with the uh, uh, nasty junk in the bottom. Let me uh, spin this down here. You see all that uh, sand and crap that's collected in the bottom? That's basically the junk out of the fuel tank. And uh, no, normally I change these every uh, two or three years. The other, the other vehicle I've driven for the past five years, I finally put one on it uh, maybe a month ago, and it didn't really help. It it wasn't clogged up, not like this one. So it's uh, kind of what I have for you today. And if you're having similar problems, uh, you might check out your uh, fuel filter or have somebody uh, check your rail pressure. Make sure it's not a problem. Thanks for your time.